turns out that the normal Illinois Police Department isn't all that normal. Or is it? <laughs> Are you, who are you on the phone with? So we're going to have to seize your phone. So go ahead and hang up. Seize my phone for what? Go ahead, go ahead and hang up. Why? Go ahead and hang up. Your phone's going to be seized. We're gonna, you're going to hang up the phone and we're going to seize your phone. So you can hand me the phone or I can take the phone. So the question is, are you going to provide an interview? No. No? Okay. Unless go ahead and hand me the phone. I have to know if my go, phone is nope. seized. Go ahead and hand me the phone. Because she wouldn't relinquish her personal property, Taylor Brown is now being subjected to normal police treatment by the normal Illinois Police Department. Stay tuned because there's a valuable lesson here and we all need to learn it. Here, here's the deal. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. But here's the deal. So here's the deal. And here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Because here's the deal. Here's the deal. Either give me your ID or you go to jail. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? How about that? How about that? Here's the deal. Welcome to Normal Illinois, population around 55,000. What's not normal in normal is the protection of individual rights by the normal police department. As a matter of fact, it looks like trampling rights is the normal practice. And because of this, a federal lawsuit has been filed against the normal police department. According to the lawsuit on February 8th, Taylor Brown was a resident of normal and attending college in the area. Late that evening, a fire erupted in her apartment. Brown's roommate called 911 to report the fire immediately, and upon arrival, the police officers who responded to the call with fire officials asked Ms. Brown to wait in a squad car that was parked in front of her residence until the officers were ready to speak to her. An unknown normal police officer asked Ms. Brown if she'd be willing to go to the normal police station to answer questions about the fire to which Brown agreed to be questioned and was transported to the station by an unknown female cop. Brown arrived at the station with the transporting officer in the early morning hours of February 9th. But she was left in a room for approximately 40 minutes after she arrived at the station and was not questioned by any normal police officers during that time. We're told that Brown exited the room and told the transporting officer that she wanted to be taken back to her vehicle. The transporting officer told Ms. Brown that she would be taken back shortly and instructed Ms. Brown to wait in the lobby. While Brown was waiting, the female transporting officer approached Ms. Brown and requested her cell phone. When Ms. Brown asked the officer why she was requesting the cell phone, the officer told Ms. Brown that it was being seized as evidence related to the house fire. Now, the lawsuit alleges that there was no probable cause to seize Brown's cell phone at the time, and there were no warrants permitting officers to seize Brown's cell phone at the time. It's almost like the cops in normal don't care about Fourth Amendment protections. Brown then FaceTimed her mother, who happens to be a Chicago police officer. During the FaceTime call, Brown told her mother that she went to the station voluntarily and that the officer told her she would be taken home but was not doing so. It was at that point that several officers began to surround Miss Brown. Let's take a look at the body cam footage. All right, are you, who are you on the phone with? So we're gonna have to seize your phone, so go ahead and hang up. Seize my phone for what? Go ahead, go ahead and hang up. Why? Wait, go ahead and hang up. They wanna seize my phone, but I'm not under arrest for it. You're not under arrest, but your phone's gonna be seized. Um, so, no, no. We're gonna, you're gonna hang up the phone. Um, I seize my phone, but so, I'm not in custody. So, so listen, so, three of them all around me. so listen, for a second. You, you listen for a second. So the fire is gonna be under investigation. That's fine. Okay, and we're gonna seize your phone. Why? Because we are, because the fire is under investigation. I need to know why my So you can hand me the phone or I can take the phone. But I need to know why my phone's getting, they're not telling me a reason why my phone's getting. I just, I just did. But you said it's under investigation, which I so. Do. So listen to me, the what fire, is her phone? so the fire is going to be under investigation and your phone's going to be seized. Is she? Yes, everybody's phone's being seized. Oh no, because you never, you never told me that my phone would be seized when I got here. She didn't tell me that. Okay, and when I, and when I got here, the detective wasn't here. We were waiting for the detective, so the detective's going to seize your no, phone. No one told me any of this. Okay. You told me that you were about to take me home. Okay, so I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. 
So you can hang up. You can hang up your the phone, with and I can take you home. Yep. So. No, they're not taking my phone and letting me leave. I don't know what I'm finna. It's three. It's three a.m. I can't go without my phone. Right, where am I gonna go without my phone if I do the interview? That's not. That's up to you. No, you're not doing the interview. Well, if I do the interview, can you I can go do the. You can go do the interview, but your phone's gonna currently be seized. Can I talk to him first? Can he come down here? Cause nope, we're we're not gonna do that. So you can hang up the phone. Or I'm gonna take the phone. That's how this is gonna work. Oh, absolutely. Not. So she said, hang up the phone, and they're gonna take the phone. Cause at this point, I'm being threatened. It's not a threat. I've asked you several times, and you're just no, going to go back and forth with me. A reason as to why my so, phone is being taken. so the fire is going to be under investigation by the that's fire department. So that's stop, that's stop, don't interrupt me. To do with my so don't interrupt me. The fire no, is no, going to be under investigation. Don't ever tell me not to fucking interrupt you, and I'll okay. be calm. So the phone's going to be seized. So but in a second, I want to take what it. I'm asking you. I'm so asking you a reason. So I'm not being rebuttal. I'm asking you a reason. So if you would like to talk to the detective, you can. Why is my phone being seized? If you would like to talk to the detective that is seizing it, you can. Do you wish to talk to him? Yeah, but... Do you want to get an interview? No, I wanted to ask him why my phone's being seized. Because she said she could take me home, but without my phone. That doesn't make sense. It sounds like... So are you going to talk to the detective? No, I need need everyone to come and tell me why my phone's being seized. Because no one told me this until right now. Okay. Right so, because it seems like that's the question. The, so the question. No, no, it seems like he's being petty because he woke okay. up and I won't do the interview. So, this wasn't so the question. So the question is, are you going to talk to the detective? As a matter of fact, are you recording this? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to talk to the detective and provide an interview? Yes or no? Is that with or without the phone? Without the phone. The phone's being seized. Are you talking to the detective or no? The, uh, phone being I don't know. That's, that my, that's not my question. I need an answer to that before. I get so the question is, are you going to provide an interview? No. No? Uh, okay. Unless Go ahead and hand me the phone. I have to know if my Go, phone is nope. Go ahead and hand me the phone. Now, we've all seen this kind of thing before. A person is standing there not harming anyone, not threatening to harm anybody, or stealing or damaging anybody's property. As a matter of fact, Miss Taylor Brown is standing in the normal police department upon the request of a representative from a normal police agent to fill out a report about a house fire. And what do the cops do? They threaten to take Miss Brown's property. And when she refuses to go along with this little theft operation they have going on here, the normal police do the normal police thing and gang up on and initiate force and violence on the person who just wants to be left alone. Now, I've uploaded this video before, but they age restricted it. Age restriction equals censorship. And censorship means not a whole lot of people are going to see this video. And you really need to see this video. Why? Because like it or not, if you were standing in Miss Brown's shoes in the normal police department, they would have treated you the same way. And this isn't an issue of racism. This is an authoritarian issue. It was a black woman in a costume who laid her hands on another black woman. You and I are Taylor Brown. They would have ganged up on you. They would have slapped the torture cuffs on you. And they would have sent you to jail where some order following grunts would make you strip off all your clothes, bend over and conduct a humiliating, demeaning, dehumanizing body cavity search. In this video, we're going to skip the police violence part and we're going to head right on over to the unjust interrogation part of the video. You hear that, YouTube screeners? There will be no violence shown in this video. Now, if you want to see the video in its entirety and what they actually did to Miss Brown and what they would have done to you, the link to Agitation Rising will be in the description. Strangely, the unedited video is not age restricted. Are you a black woman? You are a black African American woman. Alright. Is property? Oh, no, it's Where's the phone at? You're black. Alright, we're going this way. They're white. I expect it from them. All right. You're black, dude. Okay, you also kicked me in the head, so. You also, I came down here willingly because I trusted you. And look at what you're doing. Are you willing to provide a statement or no? What does that mean? Are you going to talk to me if we go back there or not? You are forcing me to. I'm asking you if you're going to But you're forcing me to. I can't force you to talk. You're taking my items. I'm seizing this for now, yes. 
Are what you, does that mean? Do you want to provide a statement? My detective, I need okay. to talk to her. I need Fine. an attorney present. You can, you can, okay. I need a lawyer. You can take her to jail. All right. Take me to Where's jail? her property? Whatever charges you guys have. You have resisting an aggravated battery of a police officer. Oh my God. Okay, I'll do the interview. You still have the charges. I didn't ag aggravate you. You assaulted you me. me. Okay, so. Relax. You assaulted me. I'm 18 years old and you assaulted okay. me. Of course I'm aggravated. I, I wasn't a resisting arrest. You didn't say okay. that I was under Are arrest. Yours? Is this the back to your earring? Are you arrested? Are you putting something on my record? You're being arrested. I asked you, so listen, don't, I asked you to provide your phone and you refused, okay? When you I were, mean, you didn't give me nope. a reason. Nope. nope. I said your phone was being seized. You, you said, never no, gave stop, me stop, the reason. Don't interrupt, me. don't interrupt me. I said your phone was being seized. I asked you the I reason. You several times I to trusted me. you. That's why I came. You did not hand me your phone. Okay. Then we took your phone. I came you here willingly. You're going to jail. I kicked you off because you all were manhandling me. I couldn't move. I yeah, was scared. Yeah, we don't really kick police officers, but I was scared. Hello, you things. would do the same thing. Cuffs uh, still have to be double locked if they weren't double locked. Back they weren't. Go ahead and double lock them. Uh, double relax. lock them. I can't move. Are you guys serious right now? How are you gonna do this to me? I'm like, bro, I just got out of high school and you all are huh? scaring me. Do you want me to transport her? Do you mind? Yes, I'm again. Or Kazi, Who am I talking to? Uh, I'm just doing paper, but I'm not busy. I'm, 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 I'm yes. Fine. You do. Yes. Okay, it's not going to affect any charges they have on you. I'm okay, not, then just, just, what is happening right now? I came down here because I thought I was doing an interview. Why am I in cuffs? Well, I'd like to still interview you. That's not. But why am I in cuffs? I'm scared. Why are you all touching me? Why is my stuff being seized? You told me I was coming here for an interview. I came here under false pretenses. That is a case itself. Do you want to go back and talk or not? There will be three cases filed in the morning, I promise you. Yes or no? You want to go Let's go. Now? Let's go to the cage, the jail, wherever we're going. I need to make a call. I get one call. I know that much. Okay. I'm this way. Okay. I get one call. I know that much. Have two people Do you want to go with him? Do you yeah, have something or no? Uh, I, I'm just worried about the charges for this. No. No. You're resisting aggravated battery. I, I resisted because you gave me no reason. You cannot search me or take my items with giving me no reason. So that you have a case for. And it was an aggravated assault. It's called defending myself when I feel that I'm in harm's way. And that's the situation that you put me in because I thought I was coming for an interview. And now I'm in handcuffs without a phone. No. I patted her down. I'll search her right now. Right here. Why would you lie to me? I didn't lie to you. You did lie I to did me. I did not lie to you. Time. You told me he was here when we got here. You told me I was doing an interview and you would take me home. Why are you treating me like I'm a criminal? There was a fire at my house. Correct. And that's what you were here for the interview. You said yes. You so stop yelling, okay? I'm going to talk to you. You said you were here for an interview. Right? right. Our detectives come in from Bloomington. I don't know how long it takes them to get here. I, I wasn't estimate. mad at you. No? I told you that. I know that. You said you did no longer want to do that interview, right? No, because so, I'm tired. So, I said I, I won't be of much help Correct. right now. Correct. So that's why you went to the lobby. I was going to take you home. Right. At that point, the officer wanted your phone seized. You didn't say that. You said he wanted my phone conversation. You didn't give me that specific reason, ma'am. Because you were yelling at me for about five minutes. So because I, you, I wasn't understanding, no. and I'm I asking you the same question. I asked you the same question multiple times, and you did not Put answer me. In. Put your knees in. You didn't answer me one time. That doesn't matter to you when I'm sitting here talking to you. I tried to talk to you and reason with you. You weren't. With your you weren't reasoning with me. And you were just You yelling. were just telling me, and I'm asking you questions like a human being. And you're smiling. This is funny to you. The lawsuit alleges and the body cam shows that officers proceeded to grab Brown's wrist and pull her to the ground. During this encounter, the cell phone fell from Brown's hand, causing the FaceTime call to disconnect. Ms. Brown was then handcuffed and arrested and thrown into jail, but she was also subjected to an intrusive search where she was required to remove her clothing while a jail employee inspected her, you know what, for contraband. 
Brown was released from the county jail at 1 p.m. on February 9th with no bond and no charges brought against her for any crimes. And she was not given her phone back by the officers until 3.30 p.m. on the same day. As it stands right now, Brown is pressing charges against the unknown normal police officers of false arrest, excessive force, failure to intervene, and battery. And once again, we see that there are no good cops on the scene to step in and put an end to the tyrannical insanity. If you like this video, stick around. Maybe you'll like some of my others. Check out the most popular video section. There's definitely a couple of videos in there you'll wanna see. Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the global thought police in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. Don't forget to subscribe to my private email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. If you want to support the channel further, the links are in the description and you can buy a hard hitting conversation starting design that you can put on any shirt, hoodie, mug, cell phone case, whatever you want. I'll see you in the next video.